Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be going through the different options that you have when adding a section or a row to your content. So from your cornerstone screen, go ahead and click on layout and add section. From here you're going to see the usual interface that we have and we're going to see the section over here. If we click on this arrow right here, we can go ahead and make that a drop down and see all of the different rows that we have inside of the section. From this screen right here, we can actually double click, highlight, and rename the section. So let's go ahead and call this the About Us section. We can also now rename rows, which is awesome. So if we want to go ahead and rename this to Icons, if we're going to have a row of icons here, we can add another row by clicking on this button and going ahead and adding it. Let's say this text, this row is going to have a bunch of text in it. So we can go ahead and rename that now. If you want to change any of the settings inside of the actual section or the row, you can click on the inspect tool the, uh, or the magnifying glass for each of the actual rows or sections. If you would like to duplicate one of the rows or sections, you may do that by clicking on this duplication icon. And if you hover over top of it, it'll show you that you can actually duplicate it. So I want to go ahead and duplicate the about us. So when I do that, it puts a whole nother About Us section right down here that says a copy of About Us. Now you can go ahead and rename this to be whatever you want. So we can name this another section. And it'll take place in up here as well. So let's go ahead and we can also add new rows. And let's say for this icons one, this top one right here, we want this to be two actual columns and then for this text one we want to go ahead and make that four columns from there we can go ahead and add our different elements inside of the sections in the rows and inside of each of the columns that we need now let's say you want to go ahead and add some space between this row and this row well that's very easily done you can go to either row click on one and if you're doing this bottom row let's add some margin or padding to the top so let's go ahead and since we're in this text element row, let's go ahead and add some margin to the top by unclicking this link sides and adding one. You can add two, you can do three, you can do as much as you want. And you can also change the actual variable by either clicking on this and actually clicking on one of these options or you can just type in 20px and hit enter and it'll automatically change the pixels. Same with you know, vertical height or EM. You just type it in and it'll automatically change once you hit enter. So let's go ahead and we can add a different background to this section by clicking on the colors. And we can add a row -O background as well. There are a bunch of different options that you have when colonizing your col uh, your rows or adding backgrounds or even adding more sections here. And if you want to go ahead and manually add another section, you can go ahead and click on add section in this part and you can go ahead and rename this to whatever you want it to be. If you want to delete a section, go ahead and click on the delete button and it's going to go ahead and prompt you, are you sure? And you can click yes. If you do not want to be prompted, you can simply hold down the shift key and you can see that this turns red. So if you click on that, it'll just delete it without prompting you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys at the next one. Thanks.